Carol Vorderman and welcome to a brand new week of Perfect 10. I hope you had a fantastic weekend and you're ready to give that old brain of yours its daily circuit training. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in 10 minutes. Once again, we are here from Monday to Friday with brain teasers, questions and puzzles, which will educate, entertain and irritate the life out of you, possibly all at the same time. So hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already to get all of the episodes in your feed as soon as they drop. And don't forget to head on over to our website, perfect10.uk, to download your free Perfect 10 scorecard that will cover you for the week. It'll help you keep the track of your scores throughout the week and give you something to wave in front of your friends or your family when you get a higher score than them. And while you're on the website, don't forget to sign up for the Perfect 10 newsletter to get all the latest news, behind the scenes content and some fantastic exclusive competitions. Right, enough chit chat. Are you ready to dive into a brand new week of Perfect 10? Good, let's go. Question one, as always, is your starter for a Perfect 10. So... If seven Ds in a W means seven days in a week, what does 11 Ps in a FT mean? Long time listeners will recognize this style of question, but what's the answer? 11 Ps in a FT, what does it mean? Question two here say, so which well-known phrase or saying is hidden in these sounds? <gasps> Don't do that. I said, don't do that. Here's say, say what you hear and what can you hear? Which phrase do those sounds represent? I think that's quite a tricky one today, but uh, hopefully you can do it. Moving on to question three, Carol lateral thinking. Pop your brain into the lateral position and see if you can answer this. On an analog clock face using Roman numerals, how many X's are there? You can solve this in two ways, either by remembering what the Roman numerals are or remembering what a clock face looks like. Moving on, question four, our memory game. Quick reminders for all the newcomers. You're going to hear a short clip with lots of information packed into it. All you need to do is remember as much as you possibly can because there'll be a question at the end based on what you've just heard. Okay, get your brain boxes in gear because here it comes. Another eventful day of football today as Leighton Orient secure their place at the top of the league, leaving Northampton and Stevenage fighting for second place. There was a late kickoff at Swindon, which resulted in a one-all draw with Barrow at the country ground. Drama between Bradford City and Carlisle, with a red card being given to Banks in the 60th minute. That led to Carlisle taking a late lead with a 2-1 win. And finally, AFC Wimbledon took a hammering at home from Doncaster Rovers, with a hat-trick from Andy Best in the first half. Mm, Well, I hope you were listening there, because here comes your question. In which minute did Banks receive a red card in the match between Bradford City and Carlisle? Questions five, six, and seven are all part of a group we like to call the three Fs, frivolous, familiar, and fun. They're common knowledge questions about popular culture, everyday items, and the world around us. So this is question five. The Chicago Cubs, the New York Mets, and the San Francisco Giants all play which sport? Well, any American sports fans out there in the Perfect Ten family, perhaps, maybe? I know there are a few of you, so this might be a very easy point for you. Here's question six, and it's pop music. Florence Welsh is the lead vocalist for which group? Moving on now, here's question seven. Crew, Macclesfield, and Northwich are three of the largest towns in which English county? Time for question eight. One in, one out, as ever, where we change a letter in the word to create a new word. Which letter can you change in the word salt, S-A-L-T, to make an ingredient used to brew beer? 
Question nine is called, I know, I know this, that tip of the tongue teaser that will have you saying exactly that. I know, I know this. So here it is. Which planet in our solar system is closest to the sun? It's a very famous phrase that might help you remember this. Well, only if you can remember that phrase. If you can't, I'll tell you at the end of the show what the answer is. And here we are, approaching the end of your brain training for today. Just one question left to go. Well done. As always, we end with question 10, our daily riddle. Here it is. A snail is at the bottom of a 20-meter pit. Every day, the snail climbs five meters up, but at night, it slides four meters down. How many days does it take before the snail reaches the top? Maths riddle today. See if you can work it out. And that, I'm pleased to say, is today's Perfect 10. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's questions. And head on over to our socials by searching at Perfect 10 Carol on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And there you'll find loads of bonus content questions, extra questions uh, every day to keep your mind ticking over until the next episode. Come and join in with the fun. We would love to have you. 10 questions, 10 points, 10 minutes. So let's reveal Monday's answers. Here they come. Question one. If seven Ds in a W means seven days in a week, what does 11 Ps in a FT mean? And the answer is 11 players in a football team. Well done if you cracked the code there. Question two was hearsay. Which phrase was hidden in these sounds? <gasps> don't do that. <gasps> I said. And the answer is don't hold your breath. That's what I say when people ask if these are going to get any easier. Don't hold your breath. Well done if you got that right, though. Excellent. Question three, Carol lateral thinking. On an analog clock face using Roman numerals, how many X's are there? And the answer is there are four. So 12, that's written as X, capital I, capital I, 11, X, I, 10, which of course is X and nine. A lot of people forget that one because it's capital I followed by X. Question four was our memory question where we caught up with all the latest from the football, the fictional football, that is, not spoiling any results. But the question was this. In which minute did Banks receive a red card in the match between Bradford City and Carlisle? And the answer I wanted was the 60th minute. Question five, moving into the three Fs, and we continue with sport. The Chicago Cubs, the New York Mets, and the San Francisco Giants all play which sport? Well, they're all baseball teams. Well done if you got that right. Question six, Florence Welsh is the lead vocalist for which group? The answer is, of course, Florence and the Machine. But who is the Machine, I hear you ask? Well, that would be Isabella Summers, the other founding member of the band, along with Florence. Question seven. Crew, Macclesfield and Northwich are three of the largest towns in which English county? Well, they're all towns in the county of Cheshire. Cheshire is known for a great many things, from the birthplace of Lewis Carroll to the home of Hollyoaks, but it's perhaps best known for its cheese. Cheshire cheese is one of the oldest known cheeses in the UK. It was already being produced when Caesar conquered Britain and apparently the Romans built the walled city of Chester to control the district where the precious cheese was made. Question eight, one in one out, which letter can you change in the word salt to make an ingredient used to brew beer? Well, if you change the letter S for a letter M, you get the word malt, M-A-L-T. Question nine, today's I know, I know this. And the question was, which planet in our solar system is closest to the sun? Did you get it? The answer is Mercury. And finally, question 10 was our daily riddle. A snail is at the bottom of a 20 meter pit. Every day the snail climbs five meters up, but at night it slides four meters down. How many days does it take before the snail reaches the top? And the answer is, it's the 16th day. On the first day, the snail reaches a height of five meters, slides down four, and so ends at a height of one meter. 
And on the second day, he reaches six metres, but slides back to two. On the third, he reaches seven, slides back to three, and so on. And on the 15th day, he reaches 19, but slides back to 15 metres. On the 16th day, he reaches 20 metres. So now he's at the top of the pit. So, did you score a perfect 10? Remember to subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already and follow us on social media so you don't miss out on anything. It really is a lot of fun over there. Come and join us. We saved you a seat. Before I say goodbye, I'll leave you with today's Monday's Anagram. Which very famous author is an anagram of children's cakes? C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N-S, children's cakes, C A. K-E-S. It's an anagram of which author? I'll give you the answer to that in tomorrow's episode, along with a whole new day of questions, brain teasers, and puzzles. I'm Carol Vorderman. That was my perfect 10. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you have a perfect day.